DJ AFK here. Happy Thursday. We are going to play some New World tonight. Hopefully run through some of the rest of storyline here. We are level 58 and it looks like about a quarter. Uh, we do have some stuff in our inventory, but we're going to make our way over to Eden Grove. Finish our uh, quest that was when we ran through the uh, Dynasty Expedition. And start the next one. This will hopefully prove interesting. I do like the new cost for fast travel. It's a lot easier to actually do it. Uh, gaining the Azoth is something that you you do a lot, but if you need to do a bunch of traveling, um, you need to kind of actively go farm out Azoth. No fun. But with the new cost, not a problem. Let's go ahead and see if we can put some type of marker on the map here. There we go. Maybe. <laughs> Doesn't want to show up anyway. Oh, that's right. These guys are all corrupted stuff that we don't want anything to do with. There are actually people online now. We had another uh, server merge and it actually gave me a login queue. That's the first time since uh, maybe a month after release that I've had a, a login queue. I see lots going on in the chat which that is helpful means if I do need a group I can possibly get one because there's people playing I see you have the blighted spore bomb be very careful I'm off to sabotage the fleet the kills even if this works your plan for the motherwell is still in what is this but the corrupted ebon scale fleet is a very I get a dawn's obscure I'll breathe easier knowing it's neutralized good luck oh she's just gonna give me the same same quest again. So it says, disrupt the forces of the Empress, solo, or sabotage the fleet, group. But we just did venture into the Dynasty Shipyard Expedition, and we just completed that. And it gave me Saboteur yet again. Let's go do the solo version. <laughs> well, if it will show me... What's going on? Talk to Adiana for options. Hit the decks. So I need to travel to the Dynasty Harbridge. Not too far from our fast travel point here. And I know we have this, but it is not allowing us to use it. That's how we got there last time. <laughs> And it's not allowing me to go here either. Awesome. It says we can only have, uh, go to places that we've been where we have plenty of stuff in inventory. Wow, it's not going to let us go anywhere near this place. That's stupid. Can we cross the water from here? And yes, we can.
Um, huh. It's not even going to let me go to Monarch's Bluffs. Oh, we can only warp out if we're in a city. That's the problem. <laughs> I haven't played this game in a while. It shows. Actually, we're really close. Let's just go back to this fast travel right over here. We'll leave our warp to home intact. I do like that they have introduced a, a way to solo through these group quests. That is very helpful. It took at least a month to find a group for the Dynasty Shipyard. Let's see if we can fast travel now. <laughs> and we can. Sweet. Do you have been uh, screwing more? deck boards down, getting those all cut to the right sizes, and have been laying landscaping blocks for a very large area, which is a lot, um, a lot more exhausting than I thought. Doing a couple of them is pretty easy, but when you have to do a couple hundred of them, that'll wear you out. Alright, so I need to defeat this wall, apparently, because I'm stuck in it. Um, yeah, that's super awesome. <laughs> Let's see if they... I haven't had to use this in this game before. Let's see if there's actually a stuck feature. Unstuck. Let's see if it just recalls to end. Nope. That was nice. It just took me right next to the nearest fast travel point. Alright, so we need to kill three Dynasty Fleet Generals. Fifteen corrupted. It doesn't look like that big corrupted animal over there is on my list. Let's not get in his way. These guys should be, but it's not showing me that. It did give me credit. That almost looked like a chest. What do we have here? Plant Blight Bomb. Wonder if they need done in any particular order. Doesn't look like it, but we'll head kind of halfway north here. Try not to take on too many mobs at the same time.
I don't recognize this. Salamander snail. Oh, the whole plus six harvesting. We have a summoner. He seems to have a lot more um, defense here. Ooh, and holy hell. He's got um, a whole lot more damage. A whole lot more. Hey, we're, we're going to need to be using some food around these here parts. Let's see, food. I'm almost out of food. Food is number five. Let's do this. And we get to find out if the blight bomb hurts us. Didn't look like it. don't like how their markers are on the map. I can't tell which one we just did. We just did this one, so we need to head this direction, and there should be one, like, right here. Another summoner. Let's um, not let him do whatever it is that he was attempting to do. Like that. At least he goes down kind of quick. I can't plant the bomb. Keeps jumping around. <laughs> some reason those are not unpinning that's okay we'll just move down here to that one a little bit south a little bit west and a little bit south again two mobs here Shield of the Barbarian. Good times. When's Elon Musk gonna buy New World? <laughs> Make it good again. This guy's pretty quick. Those were all separate maneuvers. Yeah, provisions create. Nice. There is some ore over there that I would like, but I don't think I can get back up here. Or at least in this spot. Let's go south. Oh, actually, there's one over here. Big chest. And then a big dude. Another summoner. I'm guessing there's a pattern here in which there's a summoner at each location. Oh shit, he knocked me off. 
Well, I guess I get to grab that ore. <laughs> Well, that was fun. A musketeer. Oh, I can't get that. Requires 175. I think I'm like 168. Something like that. Do not want to mess with that dude. I remember him from when we did the Dynasty Shipyard. Let's leave that alone. Let's go try this summoner again, which I'm sure has fully reset health. Nice attack. And he's got a mother. <laughs> he knocked me off the dock again. I almost had him that time. All right, let's stay far away from the edge. Let's not pull any extra mobs. There we go. Better way to get up there. Uh, this guy might still want to fight. <laughs> You're not knocking me off of this rock. All right, <laughs> next bomb. But we do have fleet generals as well, and I've not seen any of those. Or rather, we haven't fought any of those. I don't know if I've seen any. Oh man, he hit me with a couple of those. There we go. Got him down. Place fifth blight bomb. Uh, did that guy see us? Does not look like it. All right. This needs performed. I need to get... Well, I need to not jump off of the dock. I need to get out of line of sight. So that... He will move. Aggrid by that other guy at the same time is becoming pretty difficult. I'm just gonna have to swing and hope. Alright, let's heal up just a little bit real quick.
Make sure we get this chest. And is this a general? Yes, Dynasty Fleet General. I need to kill him three times. That's not good. But we did get the last bomb. I remember fighting this guy. He was not fun. Ouch! Yep. He was not fun. Didn't even get him a quarter down, he almost killed me. try this again. Let's not, because there's a summoner. But there's another person. Maybe you can help out a little bit. He's planting the bomb as well. It is 59. We do want to stay behind him. Well, I accidentally drank a potion there. Oh, wow. That went down pretty quick. See if there's any more generals back here. Hopefully so. We get our food regeneration. And here's a really big, nasty looking thing here. Dynast Dynasty Menagerie Tiger. see any more generals back here. Better get my butt back on the other side of where they spawn. Or we might have to fight a whole lot more mobs. Well, anybody do anything good this week? Got one more day left. Well, hopefully everyone has had a most wonderful week. Weather's been pretty decent. It hasn't rained much. Just had a few uh, sprinkles here and there. Did um, a couple hours of mowing yesterday and today. Been decently dry out. Let's see what this guy's got. Wow! He uh, kind of sucked me in from back here. Oh. 
I might be able to get him this time. Might. My stuns don't do anything, which doesn't help. And the knockdown doesn't knock him down, so I'm I'm down two major abilities that I use all the time. Alright, so this is the last guy that we need. Don't know where any others are, so let's just wait for him to respawn. There might be somebody near where I'm standing that spawns. They should be just a regular mob, two or three or however many. Uh, but there's a chest there of some type that we got. So I would imagine that there are some types of pirates that begin life in this little area. Let's see. Looks like maybe the number ones over here have to do with a general or two. This one doesn't have a tag, but this one does say general. Um, I hear stuff. Oh, yeah. Taking a long pull there. Who's shooting at me? <laughs> Why are these people coming after me? I didn't do anything to you. Oh, the general already respawned. But we still got a musketeer on us. Is he going to chase us down here? Is he going to stand next to that other guy? much healing. However, we don't have this guy fixated on anyone else, so he is going to be all on us. Not good. Let him get a few swings out like that. Ooh. He busted our block. That stun actually worked. Let's let him swing a few more times. Ooh. Yeah, he's, he's getting us with that. Oh, son of a... All right, don't jump off the docks into death, because I'm underwater. There we go, now we're at least above water. Uh, doesn't help us with the health pool of this guy that wants to kill us. Oh, and we got another mob. It's not good. And it's not blocking for some reason. At least the other mob is a melee type. Well, I missed who I was attempting to hit because of all this confusion. Get this guy down now before we uh, get into trouble. Nope. Damn. That was um, that was pretty close. All right, so we got all our objectives done. Uh, we beat our pants up in the process. <laughs> I'm 
Why are my pants uh, having a red icon? All right, let's take care of that. No more red icon. Sweet. All right, and our fast travel is not too far away. Let's make a run for it. Uh, which way should we run around? Looks like this way. Not exactly what the Lonely Island had envisioned when they made that song about being on a boat. I was more stuck tripping on the boat. Sweet! Made it here with full health. Nice, they introduced an objective list on the map. So let's go back here. We almost made back our, all of our Azoth that we used. This guy just ran straight through the woods here. Let's see if this is more safe than taking the path. He is running straight towards our objective. Let's go ahead and follow. A 52 tiger thing. Not a problem. A camp of two uh, Meyer fiends. Yeah, that, that was um, a lot easier. The western wind carried the news quick. All right. The Ebenscale, your plan to blight the Motherwell seems much too risky. What if you fail to defeat the Tempest? If the corruption remains, the Motherwell will be lost to us forever. We don't want the Motherwell to be lost you to us forever. So much trust. More trust than the angry Earth has ever put into any human. But up until now, you have proven yourself trustworthy. Much as I dislike this plan, the decision isn't mine to make. The Motherwell belongs to the angry Earth. If they agree to it, then so be it. You must make offerings to the denizens of this place. They will be able to sense your intentions. If the offerings are accepted, you will have the blessing of the angry earth to carry out your plan. <laughs> Blessings of the angry earth. That's exactly what I'm looking for. Alright, so Blessings of the Earth is the quest that I thought that we would be starting upon. Uh, not sure why it wanted me to recomplete Saboteur. But let's grab these two close ones. Then we'll get the farther one. Oh, I'm supposed to talk to him, not uh, not kill him. I haven't talked to him. I would like to understand humans more. Before I have to I do a quest for him. <laughs> Find me a memento that demonstrates care. And wow, that's. All the way across the zone. All right. Well, let's um, let's go grab the next one. 
See if we can maybe double some of these up for travel. Oh, wow. A human. Oh, I do love fish. Large ones. <laughs> it has been so long since I've had a nice fish. What's this guy got? Nothing. About our discoveries in Viva's head. The corruption, the angry earth, and the storm hall. Alright, so that objective is not showing up on my map. That's no good. Should be number two. Nice rusty looking ground up here. I am looking forward to Sunday for Final Fantasy X. I believe it'll be part 15, somewhere around there. Good times. If you haven't uh, haven't watched any of that, highly recommended. That is a really good game. Hey, that that helps. Let's uh, back up from the screen here. Wow, this guy does not take much damage. All right. Well, that um, did not work out as planned. There's tigers all over the place through here. That archer, though, was... Uh, Incredibly strong. I, I don't like how they do that in this game where it, it's you can't tell how strong something is before you're already in a fight with it. I don't like that. Like there's no delineation between a level 50 archer person that is weak and a level 50 archer person that is about to blow you away in a few hits. All right. Human, Here's Ixia. Is hard. Tempest spreads corruption, shades the sun. Hey, we got a ring of the blessings of the earth. They need. Through crafting arts, their suffering undone. My blessing. Acquire a bunch of things. Alright, so it looks like we have some new numbers up here. Uh, that one is part of what we're doing. Uh, looks like we need a shocking lodestone and then craft her stuff. Those locations. Where is our third objective? Travel to not rust. I think that was the one on top. Gain the favor of the residents of the Glade. I don't see a number three. At all. <laughs> Let's go ahead and grab the closest objectives here. Yep, looks like due to the rocks, we'll just head pretty well northwest. Oh. 
Let's try not to run into any more stray archers. and roll. If only it were that easy. A capped tangle wisp. That's what we need. Turkey? That was a turkey. And we are not exactly running the correct direction now that we're at the road. Let us run the correct direction. this lake. Don't like those guys with the shields, so we'll just skip him. Looks like there's another one there. And we'll follow this nice uh, dilapidated gray brick road. Do we find some place that uh, accepts us for who we are? Like the quest givers. Now this doesn't look like a special archer, but still don't feel like messing with him. That one does. got me for pretty good there. More archers here. That one is uh, golden colored and they're both level 60. So yeah, let's, uh, let's like, get out of here. <laughs> if you have to drink potions while traveling to your quest, probably not going to be a good idea to Continue on that journey. Let's see here. How much damage are we going to take? About a thousand, two thousand, something. Yeah. We'll be just fine. Oh, level 60 pig. A boar. My apologies. That was a strange boar. Looks like our food wore off. That's not good. Looks like we will need to do just a little bit of healing.
All right. Looks like both our objectives are in the same direction. I uh, don't really want to fight a level 61 buck with that many horns. Must have been a 64 point buck. And we missed our objective. It's right here, but I don't see it. Fire fungal spores. Uh, that sounds like a pretty normal thing. Why is it sending me all the way over here? Let's see, if this is a collection quest, it is of common items, then we do not have to perform this here. Let's see what we have. We already had two of the items, so it is possible that uh, we grabbed the correct ones before, or they're just common stuff. Let's see here. We will be asked to grab specific materials. does say for at least a couple of these, we can just go to the trading post. All right. Number two up here. Looks like we may have to actually go there. Let's do that now. How do we get there? Looks like it's down in a hole. Down in a holler. Let's see if we can travel to that location over there. We found some weed. Silk weed, to be exact. And I believe wire fiber. Yep, and wire fiber. That bridge was getting pretty uh, pretty intense with the number of pretty high mobs there. We don't have to go back up there, though. We will cross it on the ground right here. And make our way over to the uh, fast travel location.
Hey, we're losing terrain. I haven't seen that glitch out in a while. Must be some of the new changes that they made. It does seem to be just a little bit sharper, more glitchy than it was in the past. There we go. There is an archer. Let's see if we can sneak behind him here. It'd be like John Cena, he just can't see us. new fast travel point activated. I don't know about that. But we are all capped up on Azoth, likely from turning in that last quest. Go ahead and use a couple here. Make our lives just a little easier. Before we get uh, started on our journey to this, we will take a quick 90 second break, I shall return. And I have returned. Yeah, I, I really appreciate people's time, so I try to make my breaks very fast. Now, speaking of people's time, let's see the most efficient way around whatever it is that we are looking at here. Looks like up this hill. It looks like a possibly an old bridge that doesn't go very far. And an archer caught me. like another archer there. Eventually, we will have to fight our way out of these, but they don't follow you very far. They're, they're actually pretty short before they reset. Compared to some other games, they are a dream. 
in the Final Fantasy XI, for example, good luck. They don't stop following me. Well, these mobs are getting pretty deep. And we are periodically losing light resistance. Uh, this does not look good for us. Here's some rocks and <laughs> see if we can hide. <laughs> you never know. Nope, can't go up that one. Can I go up this one? Yes, I can. Let's see if they give up. Uh, not all of them. Archer hasn't. Now he has. Alright. So we are in the clear. Now that we have traveled most of the way to not rust, let's try not to get saturated with mobs again. Have over here. Right. Find a memento of town life. Which looks like it might be at the end of a road, so potentially in a house. Might be like a little mini boss or something we need to fight. Yeah, a little little shack. Here we go. Nope, can't jump through the window, so I'm going to have to fight my way in. Just do this the old-fashioned way. Let me in. Firefox. I don't know they had web browsers in this game. There is our tattered teddy that I guess we were looking for. And I am blighted. I did not calculate that into our excursion. I don't like that effect. It hurts entirely too much. Let's see, is this guy going to keep following? He is. Need to get somewhere halfway safe so we can heal up a little bit. We still have two and a half minutes of this poison. And it, uh... Um, it takes a lot out of you. Let's see what our timer is when heals run out. Hundred and five seconds. A little over a minute and a half. We have to somehow stay alive. With this massive amount. Of blight damage. 
Yeah, that's that's not keeping up. So it looks like healing does essentially zero. So we are probably going to die momentarily. I don't think I can sustain another 60 seconds of this. And some of the healing's doing something slight. Well, I guess we need to remain in that circle. <laughs> I don't think we're going to make it another 30 seconds. I don't know. It's a nail biter. Nope, we're going down. Going down. Oh, it's so close, too. Ten seconds, and we're done. Four seconds. Three. Oh. <laughs> right at the last moments. All right, where would you like us to respawn? Uh, we are going to end up down here. But I guess this will still work. We will lose some durability on our gear, though, which sucks. Looks like all our uh, trinkets are pretty well hurt. How many repair parts do we have? We have 1,200. Nice. I'll take it. Let's see. We need to get the rest of these items. So let's find a settlement. Actually, that would have been nice to just take the uh, settlement spawn that it had for us, but that's okay. wouldn't mind going and doing that uh, Dynasty Shipyard Expedition again. That was pretty fun. Although, I would request that we do it with a group of people that have done it before successfully. Uh, I didn't get to succeed at the final boss. I did die before the end. But uh, I don't think we had a proper healer of any type. Alright, there is the trading post. Some of those icons are a little hard to find on the map. How is our inventory? We're a little over half full. May need to see if we can drop off, but that's okay. All right, what do we need? We need fungal spores. Do we just need one? Yes. <laughs> we need a shocking lodestone. Shocking lodestone. There we go. A whole one gold. Or coin. And an Azoth water. He's off water. It's tier 5. It's a whole 4.86 coin. Nice. Alright. We still have objective number 3. Which is not showing up on our map. So this is... Oh, no, we need number four, not number three. Juice's Blessing. A 
acquire a fishing pole and learn cast. Yep. Catch a fit fish with a weight greater than 15 pounds. That does not sound difficult. No wonder it's not showing up on the map. It's just fish someplace. Uh, it just says it may take a couple attempts. Okay. Well, let's go fishing. Where are we going to do this? wonder if there's any good fishing around this little pond right outside of town. I uh, don't know if we have any bait. Do we need bait? <laughs> I haven't fished for quite a while. We did try it out uh, kind of in the beginning-ish. I don't normally fish in MMOs. Toad pot. All right, so we have a little stream here, and it looks like it opens up to a lake of some type. Looks like a good spot. I forget how to actually fish, though. I guess we have to start with repairing our rod. F3 to fish. <clears throat> Do we have any bait? We do. We have bread bait. And actually, let's let's just do a couple dry casts here to get some practice. Well, now I remember some of the fishing in this game. Not too hard. Success! 1.75... or 74 pounds. Huh. <laughs> we need a 15 pound fish. This looks like it's coming in pretty quick. So I don't know about 15 pounds. 16 pound. Oh no, that was an ore. <laughs> Let's eat a, an ore fish. Yes. The most exciting adventure ever. Fishing. In a pond full of oars. A fish-headed hammer. 9.2 pounds, does that count? This one's coming in a little slower. That's promising. Got a little fight in him.
He's getting a little tougher at the end, too. 25 pounds. There we go. All right. We'll run back to town. We'll go turn... Uh, actually, we'll go create the um, uh, Ixia's Blessing at the uh, Arcane Repository, and then we will uh, turn all of these in and finish Blessings of Earth. Let's see, Arcane Repository, right in the middle, kind of uh, north of the trading post. Arcane Repository. Ixia's plant food. We needed one, we got one. Didn't really give us much experience, but I guess we did only create one thing. Alright! Let's go turn these things in. I will fast travel over to here. Uh, actually, let's dump our inventory first. Which should be just to the south of us, I believe. This way, there we go. How oh, nice! I'm gonna sell sorts of moats and coin and a kite shield. I don't think we need it. Uh, salvage is now C instead of S. Uh, we don't need a light headwear, but this looks kind of special for some reason. Let's go ahead and throw it over there. It's got luck on it. Uh, so we do have food on us. We just need to drop it in the slot. There we go. Uh, looks like we're full. Well, crap. <laughs> That's okay. Let's go ahead and turn these in. We'll start with Ixia just because she's the most out of the way. I believe the other two are right next to the original quest giver, which should give us a leg up in turning that one in. All right. With tomorrow being Friday, does anyone have any huge plans for the weekend? Could be a fun time. It is spring. Weather's warming up a little bit. I'm starting the process to build a proper fire pit outside. Uh, the gravel guy is supposed to stop by here sometime soon and help me fix the driveway. 
Uh, they're going to drop off, uh, I think, 20 tons of gravel and uh, an excavator for a bit. See if we can fix some of these spots, especially the parking pad area. It uh, does fill with water when it rains. It's, it's no fun. My people cannot make the food they need. Through you have earned Ooh, I got a lesson. ring. It's jewelry and a, almost 12,000 XP. Nice. Nice. We started out at 58 and about a quarter. Now we're at, uh, looks like 58 and two thirds almost. What's this ring? This ring is dexterity, which I don't need. But it is reduce max cooldowns and luck plus what i would be getting rid of is constitution critical and luck plus no i'm not going to change that but i'm also not going to throw it away we're just gonna sleep on that one constitution is what provides you health in this game i like health uh dexterity and intelligence and uh, strength and there's a few others they are weapon specific the weapon that I have is modified by strength dexterity does absolutely nothing for me uh, unlike well unless they changed it unlike other MMOs where a stat might not be what you need but it would still do something positive for you so back uh world of warcraft 10 years ago or something you could you could have a melee class that uh you get an intelligence ring and it was better than no ring at all because the intelligence made let's say your not in combat healing go up just a little bit or something where it was a beneficial thing to do, but not more beneficial than something that that you would strive for. Yeah, in this game, it is actually worth nothing. Almost sounds like the battle music is still going, but I'm not in combat. You can check combat status next to the health bar now. I like that. Very, very invited to, to fix a couple of these quality of life issues. All right. Well, actually, there are things running after me. Why does it not say that I'm in combat then? Huh. It's done. The angry earth is trusting. Oh, I have to turn in the other two items back here first. Let's talk to Snap. Who is glad that we like it. And our good bear, Juice. This is a very fine fish. <laughs> no, here, have my blessing. That was compelling dialogue. You continue Sweet. to raise my expectations. It would be difficult for me to destroy you if you were to betray the angry Earth's trust. Hmm. Now they're starting to get afraid of me. <laughs> <laughs> but I do not so I'll think keep that up. If I'm wrong, I will simply dedicate my eternal life to hunting you down. This lady's kind of creepy. It's done. The angry earth is trusting in you. You may enter the mother well and infect it. Hmm. We may enter warning. the mother well. The Sanctuary Guardian will attack any non-angry Earth creature who enters. As the Motherwell is one of our great treasures, so the Guardian is one of our great weapons. 
Can't you ask it to let me pass? Can you ask a snake to sweeten its venom, or a blackberry bush to sheathe its thorns? No. The Sanctuary Guardian was created to guard the Sanctuary. None of us can be asked to act against our nature. We're gonna have to knock this thing out. Ah, oh, right in the middle of a dialogue and somebody brings one up on me. It's done. Can you ask a snake? Yes. All right. If you prevail against the Tempest, you will be forgiven. But you will have to bear the entire burden. The fate of Eternum rides with you. The fate of Eternum rides with you. Remember those words as we fail this quest. So this is a selfless nature. Let's go ahead and quickly look up what this entails. So that we know what we will be doing next time. We will travel inside the mother well. Got that part. About 100 meters south. It says make sure you set up a camp nearby. Have at least 20 powerful health potions and 10 blight tinctures. You need one other person to help you defeat the well guardian. This quest can only be attempted by those on this specific main quest as well. Well, <laughs> crap. That's awesome. Alright, so it looks like... Oh my, and they're saying to just stack constitution. Um, that's not cool at all. Uh, the Well Guardian is an absolutely monstrous boss and should ideally be fought after reaching level 60. <laughs> They're giving me all sorts of great news about this quest. Um, yeah, that's that's awesome. So only people that are at this part in the story right now can enter with me. I can't get just anyone to come help. So someone that has completed it not allowed to enter this is going to be worse than finding a dungeon group however one thing in my favor is with that new server merge i've been watching chat just fly by on the left side it's actually staying open instead of just fading away into nothingness but um yeah that is that is not good news from uh, crazy lady adriana <laughs> Oh, and I just um, got the attention of these two lackeys. Defeat the Well Guardian. But we didn't enter anything. What is this saying here? Oh my! There's a bunch of them came out of nowhere there. Oh, that still got me, even from there. Alright, we're not defeating anything with no health. Let's see what uh, what this is all talking about. It did change objectives. Yeah, I think we have to pass barrier and go fight that stuff. 
not going to happen. <laughs> we can try a solo run uh, next time. That should be fun. It'll be a, a whole bunch of face planting and repairing items. <laughs> but that's okay. Such is game. It's the only way you get better. To attempt things that you can't accomplish. Next time, you will be better prepared. But having said that, I hope you have a wonderful evening. I thank you for joining in. This has been fun. And uh, Sunday, make sure to join in for, I believe, part 15 of Final Fantasy X. Uh, we should have at least 30 parts to that game. So here come uh, end of fall or so. We may finish. We will see. Till then, stay safe. <laughs>